In this video, we're going to cover the Z-Rail maximum height settings. And by height, I am referring to how far the Z-Rail car can move down. As shown here, you can manually adjust how high the tube is in the bracket. And for small prints, such as this, you would want, uh, as shown, it's about 12 centimeters. Uh, and the pot's about 11, so setting the height to around 110 or 120 would be acceptable. This way, when a print starts, you don't have to wait for the Z car to travel all the way back down to do a small print. For larger objects, obviously, we're going to need to have the Z car move a longer distance. When the setting is made, there is no limit switch at the bottom, so it's important not to make this value too high as that sets how far the Z car can actually travel downwards. As shown here, it's about 28. So 27, 28, we'll set it around there. So we want to do it always a little bit bigger than what it is. So we'd probably set it to around uh, 280 there, uh, 28 centimeters being 280 millimeters. If you wanted to print the maximum size object that the printer can do, you can move the extruder all the way up to the top as high as it can go, and then measure the distance between the print bed and the nozzle. In this case, it's about 52 to 53 centimeters, so we wouldn't want to go over as that would crash the nozzle into the bed. So for this, we should just stay safe and just keep it at 52. So in the file, we'll write 520 millimeters. In order to change the configuration file, we need to plug in the USB into the bottom of where the screen cover is, and then just plug it into a laptop or desktop computer and open it in File Explorer. It is extremely important to have the machine powered off and preferably unplugged. Having the machine plugged in in the back and having a USB power the board at the same time has the potential to damage the machine. Upon connecting the printer to a computer, you should be able to see it as a removable disk file and be able to open the config file. These are all of the settings for the printer and they should not be changed except for the only ones we want to. We should scroll down all the way to Gamma Max under the end stops category and it shows what it was previously on the little comment on the right side it says pound was 325 in case you ever need to remember what value it was and we're going to erase the value and change it to the size we want the print to be in this case we'll just set it to 400 representing 40 centimeters this will allow the z car to travel up and down the rail 40 centimeters. Be sure not to make this value too high again, as making it too high can cause it to crash into the bed on the bottom or cause the Z car to crash into the cover on the bottom. Changing these settings is optional and it will allow you to make a very large print and use the printer to its maximum capabilities or changing the value very small which will allow the Z car to not move down as far, which will allow you to start prints sooner. So moving the extruder all the way to the maximum length, it can go down in the bracket and then setting it to a value small, say uh, 100, which would be 10 centimeters high. You can instantly start a print going right away because the car will travel down 10 centimeters and then the print will start. So it is important just to Consider this value and to the size of the objects you're doing, and if you wanted to do a lot of prints very quickly, just set the value to what suits your needs.